I hope you guys can see uh, this is some spot welding practice uh, these are going to be fuses for maybe a potential um, power wall in the future what I want to show you is you can see all the practice shots I've taken all over these cells now I'm not showing you the whole six pack because I just achieved a couple of important uh, goals here if you look right here on this spot weld and that one right there that spot welds right there they both have beads they are spot welded very nicely to the uh, these 18650s and when I peel them off generally what I'm finding now after several hours of experimentation as you'll see this one here, I don't know if you can see it, right here, you'll see some copper in it. This is plated copper wire. It's ten thousandths in diameter, um, which is a quarter of a millimeter. Um, and it works really well. I have cranked the power up on this spot welder, um, gosh, it started at five volts and now I'm at ten and a half and it's really working well so the fact that it's beating and uh, when I peel the wire off um, what happens is is the wire breaks not the weld and that's exactly what I was hoping for Let's see if I can do this because it's really tight this far zoomed in I don't know if I can let's try see that the wire snapped and the weld's still there and that's how this has been going um, this afternoon I'm really happy about it now hopefully you can see that on your computer screen your TV whatever um, I've just got this tiny little monitor so I can't really see it under a microscope I can see it great alright so let's uh, let's zoom it back and I'll show you the sources that this all came from. Okay, so here is a roll. God, I don't know if I'm here. I'll take take this out of the way. See, it says 18 gra 18 gauge dash 100. That's 100 feet. Stranded copper wire. It is plated. See there. It's plated. Now, the consistent part of this experiment has been that I measure the strands of each of the two sources I have. And yeah, the battery's going dead on this thing, but this one, 0.010, that's 10 thousandths. Um, the other source, I don't have it here with me, but when you buy speaker wire you usually get one side that's bare copper and one side that's kind of plated silver that's what this is right here now there's a significant difference between them I, I tried to figure out a way to show you on video you'll have to kind of test it for yourself but I didn't think there was going to be any difference they're both ten thousandths okay so here's the one from the speaker wire it's also ten thousandths I guess that's upside down for you guys, sorry um, ten thousandths, right? so they're both the same diameter but there's a huge difference okay, hopefully I can get this in the light if you take it and you okay, let me find something to do it with and you kind of strum it like a guitar string See, this stuff just bends. It just bends and bends and bends. It has some spring back to it, but it bends a lot. Now, the stuff that came off that roll of wire, pull one of these out, straighten it a little bit. Man, I'm trying not to get shadows in here, but that's how it goes. Um, this one...
it just springs it springs back really well. It's got a really a much harder and a much stronger strand of wire for the same ten thousands. Yes, of course I can bend it. But there's a difference in it. You can check that um, in your own wiring supplies. They're both ten thousandths, which is um, shoot, I forgot what gauge that is. Ten thousandths is exactly thirty gauge wire, AWG. Anyway, um, some of the folks that have built power walls have used ten thousandths. Um, I'm trying to use what I have on me that's cheap. And this freaking, um, they call it, uh, it's just stranded connection wire or primary wire um, that comes plated. The stuff is way stiffer. Now, the other great difference that I really liked is that when you, sorry for the shadow, when you take this probe, this welding probe, and you put it on top of there and you fire it off this stuff is a lot harder you can feel it um, I had to work my way up from 5 volts to 10 and a half with this stuff because this stuff that came out of the speaker wire is um, gosh somewhere around 8 volts of stuff would just explode just kaboom Okay. Let's see if we can get it back in the frame here. God, this is hard to do. <laughs> can you see that right here? Right here. You see that? Boom! It just exploded. So that softer wire can't take the energy. Um, it doesn't melt. I never could get it to weld very well. Um, it just it just pops. It just goes away. But this heavier stuff, um, this harder stuff is um, is much better. I haven't blown it up once and I've done probably 30 welds in the last couple hours experimenting with it and I just keep cranking the power. Um, this thing makes a little noise. Let's take a look here. I'm at 11 and a half volts, 35 milliseconds. <clears throat> Let's see if we can give you guys a look of this. You read that? So, that's incredibly high for what I've been doing up till now. I'm, I'm happy because this stuff isn't really the diameter I wanted to use. I wanted to use something like um, 016 bus wire. I forget what gauge that is, 26 or something. But 016 is the same diameter as an eighth watt resistor that um, some people have used. I'd rather have it in a nice uniform roll than um, having to cut resistors and screw around with that. Because they're made um, less uniformly, the leads are, because they know you're just going to solder to them. Anyway, um, the welding has gone very well, so maybe I should try and prove that to you. Let's get these inferior strands out of the way. And yeah, you know, just looking at them, you think it's a pain in the butt, but as soon as you pick one up and kind of kind of strum it, you can feel how much stiffer that same piece of wire is. It's it's just amazing. Um, this thing has a fan and the capacitors are there we go. Sorry about that. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Uh, maybe we'll try the other side. I don't know if I can do this at all with the camera in the way. <clears throat> Plus I'm hungry. Okay, here we go. Alright, so I will do my best. I don't think I, I think I'm probably going to get in the way. Now I have learned that one probe um, I can't tell you which one it is because I don't know the answer. But it, uh, I'm going to get these out, these out of the way. Um, if I put this probe on top of the wire, it forces the energy through the wire into the cell. If I use the other probe 
um, it tends to do it the opposite way and push the energy from the wire into the probe. Um, mine are not, I didn't mark the polarity on these. I could check it with my meter one of these days, but when you're experimenting with spot welding, try um, swapping the probes around. I wish I had one of those handheld units that are spring loaded, but I do not. Okay, so here's what we're going to try and do here. Take this, pull it down, put this over here somewhere, like totally in the shot. <laughs> okay, let's try it like this. Alright. This one is for, let's see, we didn't, yeah, we need that on. Okay. Down here on the floor is my foot pedal. So put, I put, here's what I've been doing. I put one on there and one on the battery itself, like that. That's how I've been shooting this. Okay, here goes. Let's see what happens. There we go. Now this one's been spark. The second one on the battery here's been sparking a little bit too. But um, yeah, it looks like it might have put a nice beat on that one too. Uh, let's give it the uh, stress test. I can't quantify this for you. I can't say how many grams this is. I don't have a force gauge, but I tell you what, it's just gotten better and better. Uh, I'm pulling hard, you guys. I am pulling hard. Ugh. Yeah, well, that was a little dramatic, but you see, the wire broke, not the well. The wire did not. The well did not peel up off the cell. Let's try going straight up. See. Man, this harder copper wire is just absolutely great. God, I hope that didn't glare just like it looks to me. <clears throat> anyway, um, just another option. You know, if I had the money, I'd happily go buy a, a roll off of eBay of, um, you know, coated, uh, plated copper bell, or not bell wire, what do they call it? Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. You get a roll of 2,500 or 500 feet, and it's pretty cheap stuff. Remington Industries, that's who I found on eBay. Plus, uh, some, some YouTuber that was making his own power walls is using the same stuff. I wanted to use thicker stuff. If I had it, I would. I'd go to 16 thousandths, which is, um, what the heck is it? Uh, 20, 24 gauge? Anyway, 16 thousandths is the diameter, which is the same as 8 watt resistors on uh, the legs. <clears throat> but I prefer to use wire. It's just a lot more uniform. And I think that uniformity matters. You need to take out all the X factors, if you will, out of your spot welding and make it as uniform as possible. So uh, this wire that I have, this connect connecting wire is really terrific. It's smooth and flat and shiny. <clears throat> a lot better than resistor legs. Resistor legs can be nice, but who the hell wants to cut all that stuff when you can just take a roll of wire and unroll, unwire, and unroll it. Anyway, <clears throat> this works great. I'm, I'm thrilled to death. Um, I have tried and failed miserably to spot weld to um, copper wire. This is house wiring and you can see it just blows it apart and see all the marks on there <clears throat> and that's a bummer I, I don't like that but I you know spot welding copper from what I know I learned from a pro um, spot welding copper requires low voltage and a lot of amps well this is a CD welder and it doesn't have a lot of amps um, it's a dual spot welder it pulses twice and you can adjust the pulses any way you like. I got them both cranked up to full blast. Um, but this wire is working way better on these cells, which in the end is kind of what I want. Um, I wouldn't mind spot welding to the copper too. Um, most people, some people spot weld to the cells and solder to the copper. Um, I am, I have professional soldering skills. I can solder, that's not a problem, but that's not my goal. I want to be able to 
spot weld to the copper and I don't I haven't experimented with this wire onto copper yet and that could make a huge difference and I'll have to report that later but um, anyway this stuff's available all over the world and um, all you have to do is kind of tweak it with your finger and you'll find out that it's a lot stiffer than the speaker wire um, if you can before you buy a roll test it it's worth it I'm I just ran through the garage every roll of wire I have and nothing worked and I sat down here and I thought this can't be the same well it's the same diameter but it's so much harder that it welds just infinitely better and I'm using over twice the energy and it's working great so anyway that's my rep early report on uh, spot welding for hoping in the future someday to build a power wall alright you guys gotta roll see you bye